Today we are visiting Dresluin Castle. Unlike so many castles that we've visited, this is actually a native Welsh castle. Its story begins in the early 13th century with the three sons of Rhys ap Gruffith, also known as Lord Rhys, who ruled over the kingdom of Dubath. His was a peaceful reign, but on his death his three sons squabbled over the inheritance and fought between themselves for supremacy. The English and neighbouring Welsh kingdoms took advantage of the turmoil and because of their attempted infiltrations, Dresluin Castle was built sometime in the 1220s. It's not certain which of the three brothers built this castle, but it's highly likely that they also built the nearby Dinevoa Castle at the same time. Their construction methods and design are too similar to be a coincidence. The castle was expanded in the late 13th century and was, at the time, one of the few Welsh castles to remain in Welsh hands. In 1287, Rhys ap Meredith revolted against the English and in response they besieged the castle and captured it three weeks later. In the summer of 1403, Dresluin was seized by Owen Glendower. When the English retook the castle, they decommissioned it. Although little remains of the original castle, what is left, perched on an isolated rocky hill above the River Towie, is a stunning romantic ruin that conjures images of another time. The rather unimpressive edifice that you see behind me was once, well, slightly more impressive than it is now because it was the two-storey gatehouse and it had a portcullis and gates and, and it was really quite, you know, impressive. This was once the main entrance through which you went into a town. I mean, there were an awful lot of buildings up there and, of course, now they're all gone. It really was once quite big. Once upon a time, if you wanted to get into the castle, this is the bit that you came through. This is the gateway to the inner ward. The view is astounding, so I should imagine the people on guard duty had plenty to sort of look out and go, oh, that's nice, isn't it? As you come in through the inner passageway, there is the base of the tower. So it looks like that as the castle changed hands so many times, the castle was restructured quite intensively over the years. But there's actually more here than meets the eye, because when you see it down below, you just kind of see these few bits of walls poking up through the earth, and you think, OK, that's not going to be very big. But when you come inside, there's actually much more here than you'd think, which is a pleasant surprise. So it turns out that one thing that's almost impossible to avoid up here, besides the wind, is the view. It doesn't matter where you look, there's the view. Even if you have to sort of turn your head very slightly, there's the view. And it's stunning. It's beautiful. I mean, it's a miserable looking day and every now and again there's a little flurry of rain. However, it's just gorgeous. So despite the rain, what do you make of Dresluin Castle? If even given the rain, I really like it. I really like it. I mean, it's one of those, it's the views again. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> but I quite like a bit of wind. It's not really conducive for what we're doing here today. But it's refreshing and it blows all the cobwebs out. It certainly does. And it means that I have to take the ear flaps down on my hat, <laughs> which is it's, it's a rarity. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> on a day like today, it makes it look kind of misty and kind of poetic and ethereal and lovely. I really like it up here. She can see the bright side of anything. She really can. <laughs> anyway, I think uh, before it really buckets down, and, and the thing is, we can actually see it coming down the valley towards us. I hope you enjoyed this instalment of, oh look, there's a view there, it's gone because of the rain. <laughs> yes. Now, we are going to be seeing you next time. No, you're going to be seeing us next time. I really can't get my head around that one, can I? So uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like and share and all the things that you're supposed to do. Can you tell that I'm rushing because the rain's coming? Yes, you can. We will see you next time. That's right. TTFN.